Okay. It's been a while since I've done one of these, but hopefully this all works nicely. So here's the locomotive part of the train for this first video. I'll be showing you how to start this and connect the train cars. The next one will be a tour of the different cars so you can decide which ones you might want. So here's a better look at the outside of this train. I built it to be very aesthetically pleasing and also to use all this stuff. These are all actual pipes that actually do stuff. So hop in here on the side to get in. This is our cabin. It looks like a lot of buttons but trust me it's really not. And it's meant to actually be pretty easy to drive. So these six things here is everything you need to do to do your startup sequence. Just turn them all on and turn this key. Now it's heating up. You'll see if we look over here, boiler temp is rising and so is burner temp. Those are going to shoot up. While they're doing that, we can go ahead and open the steam valve. This is allowing steam into the turbines, which is going to get them primed and ready to go. Now the reason the train doesn't just drive off when I turn this is because this thing over here, this is a brake and gearbox lever basically. If you want to go forward, you push it this way. If you want to go backwards, you push it that way. And if you want to stop, you can try to put it in the middle, but then also just turn this and it will zero it out. And when you're ready to go again, you can turn that off. But for now, we're just heating up, so I'll leave it on. Back here, you see these switches. These are lights. They're nice to have on. You'll see we have these signal lights. Now, they're not on right now. Once we start moving, they will automatically turn on. And they will. the back will be red and the front one would be white. We have our headlight, looks really nice. Also another thing to note, if I pull the horn, smoke billows out of all the different little hidden vents. Makes it kind of fun. We have a remote signal change there. This coal reload signal signals to this electrical connector on the back to load coal. So basically, if, this only works if you have a coal car attached to this that work so let me rephrase the specific coal car that I built if you attach it to this train and push this button it will load coal an important thing to know about that is the train has to be perfectly still it cannot be driving and load coal it has to be still now you can load it by hand if you want but if you want it to automatically load just park the train and then load the coal with that button there it won't let you do it if you're driving because it'll the coal will fly everywhere this key over here just detaches the electrical connectors on the front and on the back and also all the other ones. This These trains use proprietary connectors, so you can't connect. You might be able to connect to other stuff, but you won't be able to use all the features that these come with. So you see we are now ready to go. It's just puffing occasionally. It keeps the pressure using some controllers I made. Um, yeah, so let's just let's just go. So I'm going to turn this forward and turn off the parking brake, and we're going to launch right into it. So actually I'm just going to stop us real fast because you guys get the picture. Fast train, lots of fun. Let's let's attach a train car to these. We drive. We run over here real fast. We'll keep this short and quick. So for sake of hitting the hardest one, let's do the coal car. They're all basically the same. This one just has this extra arm that delivers coal. So I'm going to go over here. Now, the nice thing about that forward, backward, reverse brake thing I made is that it really helps you when you're loading cars. I had lots of trouble moving around slowly when doing this in the past, but I made this little system just so I could do it controlled. As you'll see, it just slightly turned. I can slowly move back. It's not accelerating, so I mean, or if it is very slightly. It's just a constant movement backwards. That's the difference between using the steam valve to control it, which you can do, but the steam valve is an acceleration, whereas the brakes are like a constant speed. So now if I'm getting closer, I can just turn this forward a little more, slow it down, and now you can see as we're coming in, we have the lower connector, the electrical, and these fluid anchors grab on for the walkway so that we don't have any issues and the coal thing attaches on here I'll show you a demonstration of the coal loading so 
if I push this and I come over here, see it dumps the call in here and we actually get the call. It's pretty nice. And of course we can detach these as we want using keys here. There's also emergency brakes on all these cards. But uh, these are pretty pretty good. There's suspensions everywhere on these that allow them to rotate with the cars. So as you go through turns, they don't have any issues. They don't break. Now we can send it forward. And drive along. Now you can attach as many cars as you want to this. It will obviously get a little slower the more you add, but overall, very powerful train. It can hold a lot. It accelerates slower due to the flywheels, but it can go very fast. Like right now we're working our way up. It'll get up to about 70-ish um, meters per second. All right, so that's about it for starting up and using this train. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy the build.